Welcome back to day eight of my perfectly imperfect beautiful life. I just wanted to come on, one of the thoughts that came up um, upon me this morning was, hurting people who hurt you only causes a vicious cycle. So instead of sending negative energy, we wanna send love, we wanna send light, we wanna send ultimate healing, but never revenge. And I do understand that that's easier said than done. Um, when we are emotionally charged, when we're angry, when we're frustrated, when we're upset, um, uh, we don't tend to think positive things, but we have to figure out how to channel that energy. We have to figure out what what's the outlet gonna be for that particular moment. Um, do we call the friend that hypes us up and, make it, and makes it worse? Do we know who that friend is? Or do we call the person who is gonna balance us and make us think about our own actions, a person that's gonna calm us down, the person who's gonna be mature. Do we have an outlet like dancing? Maybe you're creative and you draw and you do something. Maybe you wanna write it out in poetry. Maybe you wanna go pray about it. But we do have to figure out how to funnel that energy because what we need to know is that intention is real. Um, and that's why I keep posting these daily intentional words because just like, let's say that we, um, let's say that someone is um, sick and we send out a request to pray for this person to heal them and that person is healed. That's a manifestation of our thoughts. So why don't we think the same thing happens when we wish harm on a person? Um, again, our intentions are very strong. They are very powerful. They are very real. I, I can remember years ago, and I almost didn't even want to admit this, um, uh, to, to let me know the power of thought. And I don't know if it was my fault or not, but I didn't feel good about it after. Um, I remember I was dating this guy years ago who um, owned a home. I owned a home at the time as well. And I remember we broke up and I was so mad. I was talking to one of my girlfriends and I said, I wish his house would go into foreclosure. And then a couple of months later, she called me. She was like, I never want you to get mad at me because guess whose house went in the foreclosure? And she called me laughing. I didn't feel good about it at that moment. Immediately, all I could think about was him, what he was going through, what, what, and it wasn't because like I felt anything for him. I just didn't want to think about anybody being homeless, you know, or being, um, or, or having problems financially in any kind of way because I know that how that feels. And so um, a few years later, the same thing happened to me. Um, my house, I had financial problems and then my house uh, ended up going to foreclosure. Luckily I was able to keep it and I was blessed, but it happened and I couldn't help but to think, was this as a result of that intention that I didn't even mean in the first place that had that that I had called on another person's life. So, if you can't think about it, um, I know it's hard to think positively about that person at the moment. But if you can't think about it in terms of helping them, think about it in terms of helping yourself. Um, because I've always been told that if you bless someone, it comes back to you ten times fold. Same thing could happen when you do it on the on the opposite end as well. Um, and then you also got to consider that this person affects the lives of others as well. So if you wish hell on them, then you're wishing hell on perhaps their own family members. You're wishing hell on their friends. And like you might be hurting people who didn't even deserve it in the first place, people that you don't even know. Um, so again, uh, and then we have to think about the effect that it may have on our own bodies as well. So we're talking about energetically how it can hurt us, but also physically how it can hurt us, financially how it can hurt us. Um, I can also remember another time where I got so mad and so worried about someone that I had one instance where I broke out in hives and then I had another instance where I had just really, really heavy chest pains and I knew that I hadn't channeled um, 
my anger in the right direction. And so again, we are human, so we are gonna feel, you know, we have uh, extreme um, emotions of joy all the way to hate. And, and we should allow ourselves to feel them in the moment, but we cannot stay there, not when it's anger, because it really affects us negatively. And um, it can also ultimately even harm our futures. Our lives can be stunted as a result of um, like a uh, lack of forgiveness, revenge, holding grudges. It does nothing for us. So let's figure it out, figure out today how to channel that energy, figure out today who the friend is that you need to talk to, who's mature, who's responsible, who um, wants to see you grow, but also wants to see other people grow, um, to figure out what to do with that energy when it is, um, when we do get upset. So I thank you for being here today, again, and following me on this 30 day journey. I do ask that you subscribe to, I do have a YouTube channel, um, and of course, uh, you might be here seeing me on IG or Facebook, but thank you again and have a great day. Let's root for healing. That's what we're going for and to be the best version of, our, of ourselves, because this ultimately is what loving ourselves is about. Loving ourselves is not a spa treatment. Loving ourselves is not, um, just, well, it could be a spa treatment, but loving ourselves is not just about a spa treatment or getting our nails done or taking a trip or shopping. Loving ourselves first is a whole lot of other things such as forgiveness, such as um, um, healing, such as, uh, I can't even get my thoughts together, but it is more than just material things. Um, because we want to focus on the whole package and not the small package. I don't know. That was good.